Hello, it's day two at the third international conference on dengue and dengue hemorrhagic fever, where I'm joined in conversation by Dr. Roman Verakuden from the World Health Organization. Doctor, welcome. Doctor, how serious is dengue and should we be concerned about it? Yes, dengue is, has emerged as the fastest spreading uh, mosquito-borne viral disease in the world and uh, it is spreading very fast to many countries and right now a, a population of approximately 4 billion are at risk of dengue in over 120 countries. So in terms of its magnitude, it is really quite a serious problem now. Um, and you're working on a global strategy for the prevention and control of dengue. That must be quite an enormous task. We developed this strategy after extensive consultation with experts and uh, program managers in the country. And we finalized the strategy as of last year. Uh, this is really to tell member countries what are the methods we need to follow in the event of an outbreak and to manage dengue in basically for prevention and control at the country level. And the strategy really has five uh, key technical elements uh, which the countries can easily follow step by step. Dengue has been uh, with us now for many years, for many decades. Um, are we making strides? We are definitely making strides in terms of uh, developing better diagnostics, uh, developing better methods for case management. Uh, we are having new vector control tools coming through and also there are about four or five vaccine candidates in the pipeline. So essentially we are making progress but uh, we need to bring all these tools uh, to implementation stage and use it at community level in an integrated manner. I noticed in one of your reports you talked about the threat of the spread of dengue through trade and transport. Could you elaborate on that? Dengue is basically spread by uh, mosquitoes at a local level, but between countries and between um, continents essentially there are evidence of dengue being spread by travelers. So travelers carry the virus and if the mosquitoes are present in this new location, they then continue the transmission at the local level. So. It is mainly the uh, rapid movement of people and also rapid movement of goods. Occasionally, some goods uh, can carry dried eggs of the mosquito. This particular mosquito's egg can withstand uh, desiccation. So essentially, this egg can remain dry for several months and uh, when it comes in contact with water, it hatches. So if the product goes to another country with the dried egg, you may be starting a new colony of mosquito in a new area. You say we've made advances. What, what would you say were the major challenges ahead for, for, for tackling the prevention and control of dengue? Well, the major challenges we still face is uh, we need a greater uh, political support for managing dengue at country level, uh, at the, preferably at the highest level. We need greater resources to be allocated for dengue and also to make sure that dengue is managed in a more sustained manner. So this is going to be the challenges in the coming years. Um, and just finally, what sort of um, what are this, what are the benefits of having conferences like the one we're at at the moment? This conference really is a is a great opportunity for experts, uh, program managers, and uh, um, basically everyone in, in in Thailand in particular to benefit from the expertise, share the knowledge and experience, and uh, exchange ideas, and to come up with uh, really more sound strategies in place. So essentially, it, it gives a great forum for exchange of ideas and to also have a good assessment of the frontline research. Dr. Raman Valiudin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.